So what, movies are being rebooted three months after their release now? What a monster Hollywood's become! Sup America, welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm John Maffio, and today's featured film is Olympus Has Fallen to, I, I, I mean, White House Down, directed by Ronald Emmerich, who directed Independence Day. This stars Channing all over my Tatum, Jamie Foxx, James Woods, Rachel, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and Joey King. The plot revolves around Channing Tatum's character who has an interview for the Secret Service in the White House. He decides to bring his daughter, Joey King's character, with him because they're having relationship and family issues. And while this is occurring, an unknown force attacks the White House and after all the dumbass security officers are wiped out because they don't have good reaction time, Channing Tatum is the only reliable source on rescuing the president, his daughter, and America. Personally, I wasn't looking forward all that much to White House Down, not because it's coming out around the same perimeter as Olympus Has Fallen, which I enjoyed for the most part, it's just because it didn't look all that great from the trailers, and it is weird how coincidentally these two movies, Olympus Has Fallen and White House Down, were filming during the same exact time that they had to come out in 2013, within three or four months of each other, but I judge it on its own merits. And White House Down isn't a great movie, nor is it a good one. It's just okay. It has some good moments, but it could have been a lot better. So without further ado, let's delve into the details. In my opinion, one of the best aspects going into White House Down was the cast. Jamie Foxx as the president is charismatic as ever, and he always brings great presence to the screen. Channing Tatum finally has good presence in a leading role in a series thriller, even though this movie is a little bit on the cheesy and tongue-in-cheek side, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Randomized casting here, but James Woods was pretty good with the material he was given, and Joey King once again proves that she's going to be a juggernaut of an actress come 5-10 years from this point. The high-stakes action, aka the main reason why audiences will purchase a ticket to see this movie, aside from Channing Tatum, was pretty good, and it was fun to watch. I just thought it was severely lacking, because there wasn't enough of the action to keep people engaged. In other words, the action sequences were redundant, because I feel like I've seen this a thousand times before, or maybe I've just seen too many movies. Oh my lord, I'm becoming cynical. I also felt that the buddy-esque chemistry between Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum was fun to watch. It was one of the best aspects of the movie, because they felt like they were having fun making this movie together. From this point out, I don't have nice things to say about White House Down, because the screenplay and the overall story is a convoluted and contrived hot mess. From my viewing perspective, the film starts out very strong and shows quite a lot of promise, but it ends up with quite a lot of dilemmas, and I call this issue the child actor. And as to be expected, there are more than a handful of cheesy one-liners in this movie. Some work, they made me giggle, and others just made me go, Ugh. <laughs> It's also predictable, and I think it overstates its welcome, because it's well over two hours long. If you abridge the runtime and you cut some scenes to make it about two hours long, maybe a little bit less, like an hour fifty, this could have been more impactful and a more eventful, enjoyable summer blockbuster. So, my consensus states that White House Down is a fun and enjoyable summer blockbuster. It's just convoluted, predictable, it's run-of-the-mill, you've seen this movie a thousand times before, but if you enjoy these actors like Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx and you enjoy this type of film, you'll more than likely enjoy yourself. It's not a bad time at the movies. It's an average Applebee's meal, a 2.5 out of 5 stars. If you have seen White House Down or you plan to see it, let me know anything about this movie in the comments down below. Do you like Channing Tatum or Jamie Foxx? And if you have seen Olympus Has Fallen along with this one, which one do you like better? Which White House thrill do you like better? Given you enjoyed my review, you can click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're more than courteous. I'll love you a thousand times for it. Also check out Facebook, Twitter, and We Live Film in the info box. I'm John Maffio, aka Mothman Jones, and where was Captain America when you needed him? I mean, really. See you next time.